I'm Sig Soto, welcome to my channel and welcome to this shave. Today's razor is a, an aluminium razor, it's the Hone 15A from the Hone Shaving Company. Made, designed and CNC uh, machined by Andrew. So I got this uh, in a trade for my Simpson Choppy 3 Best Badger uh, that I felt was too big for my face. And when a guy wanted to trade this for a Simpson uh, Best, Badge, Best, blah, 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 Best Badger brush, I jumped at it. So 92.5 millimeter long handle from up here to down here. Uh, no overhang, uh, 1.2 millimeter gap. The thickness of the handle is 13.5 millimeters and the weight of it is 53, 50, sorry, 54 grams. The plate in it is the one that Andrew recommended when he sent me the 15S. Um, it's the feather blade and this will be its fourth use, you see, three dots is what I have used and so on. The soap was very kindly sent to me by Fernando from Master Soap Creations. It's the Yachi Dragon. And this is an homage and inspired by Tom Ford's Donchon, ah, Fouchere Donchon, Silver Fern, I believe it means. And this is a citrusy, woodsy scent. So, all the things that I love. And I tell you, this is a new base or the new base that he made for Yachi, all the good stuff that you know in Master Soap Creation Soaps and then added some uh, Xanthan gum, Tossa Silk and Deep Anthanol. So just like uh, in Deep Anthanol was also added to the, what do you call it, aftershave, I'm sorry. I have a new brush here and it's the Simoke uh, Callahan, Callahad, I think it's called. It's a premium horsehair brush. So this will be my first time ever using a horsehair brush. Uh, the ball is the Six Solo ball in red because there is kind of a red theme with the dragon and the Galahad, uh, which was the knight um, that tried to. Um, if you know the Knights of the Round Table and King Arthur and Excalibur and all that story there, Merlin and that. Galahad was Richard Gere in the movie First Night. You know, he had a white and a red cross on his shield. And I believe this is the, the why it has this uh, shape, but I'm not sure. Okay, so there you have them together. Let's get this party started. As you see, I have some skin issues here. This one here I might cut. Down here I might be able to avoid it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, the razor has a zero millimeter exposure. It's a neutral, so neither negative or positive right there on zero neutral so 1.2 millimeter gap man look at this soap mm. and the scent oh man it has a very to me a very woodsy dark woodsy scent uh, but not but not with the spices that we know from some other soaps like the Parasso yellow. Instead of the spices, you have all the citrus there at the bottom uh, or in the top. Uh, it's really, really nice. Man, look at this. And to be honest, I cannot tell the difference between this brush, which is a horsehair, and a lot of the synthetic brushes I use. So. But you know what, we had to try it on the channel, right? Okay, so first pass. Need to find the angle. Uh, 
doesn't feel not a lot of blade feel see I just ran over that so it feels smooth and it feels mild and there is a lot of glide and slickness in this so look at that three days of stubble from the beginning and full disclosure here the soap was very kindly sent to me I don't know if you saw the unboxing, but the soap was very kindly sent to me for free by Fernando and the serum that I will be using in the end and the aftershave splash was sold to me at an extremely friendly price. So I paid for the shipping, which is substantial from South Africa but all in all with the super friendly price it was a fantastic unboxing a fantastic shipping shout out to you Fernando he has been very supportive of my channel and we talk, chat, talk privately so I regard him as one of my friends. I regard him a friend or even as I always call him brother, because he is a fantastic person, all in all. And like the smoke brush, he was made in Portugal, he's Portuguese. I don't know if, if, if you know that, but Fernando is, is from Portugal originally. So using a, a brush from Portugal from smoke smoke you always say smoke that's how I had had it explained almost you know smoke like from a fire you almost say that you have a very little s first so it's smoke 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 I don't know my Spanish or not Spanish I'm sorry my Portuguese is what you might call extremely rusty man this is this is super super smooth and that of course has to do with the lather but also the brush it's not sticky it's not scratching uh, so it's like using a cashmere that's how soft it feels so against the growth second and final part Go check out Holmes' page, I'll leave a link below. He is making an adjustable brush with an, with an ingenious mechanism with a screw, a barco screw in the bottom so you can set the height of the brush. It's not available yet, but go check out. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. And I am sure that when it's done, I will find a way to convince my wife that I need to have that, you know. I will start the negotiation soon. If any of you are married, you might know what I mean when I say the negotiation.
but I'll need to have it when it's done, when it's released. That's for sure. Well, I managed to cut the bump I have here as always. So it's bump cut approved, you might say. But I hardly never miss that bump. See? And the funny thing is I even feel a little stopple there. So I need to go back here even though it's bleeding. The price of this racer is 105 euros at the time of this recording and they have the black version and this silver version available at the time of this recording. So follow the link below. I will always leave, also leave the link to Fernando's shop in South Africa. I believe that the, that the Yachi soaps are only available at Yachi South Africa. That Fernando is, that's his channel or his site. You can get all the master soap products there too. The serum, I know you can get them in the US and the UK also, not the Yachi, but the master soap creation uh, products. HCNC towel as always. So I managed to not make a mess of this big thingy there. This was cut a little as always, and this seems to have survived. So, okay, let's try the aftershave the Yachi Dragon. Shake, are you ready? Oh yeah, that's the sound we like. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Oh man, has that deep wood, woodsy sand? Mahogany or something deeper, even a little smoky wood, maybe, even, and then not the spices, but um, the citrusy bergamot lemon and all that stuff. Man, that's nice. Okay, and now for the new product. I haven't used it before. It's the Master Soap Cre Creation Juvenation Rejuvenation Face Serum, I'm sorry, with the hy hyaluronic acid, the niacinamore or cinnamide, sorry, the aloe vera and the panthenol. So, I know some of them. So, it's oh, a shake first. Oh, it's uh, it's very watery, uh, but has a little gel, uh, jelly thing going on in its... Oh man, I took way too much. You know, that's stuff you need to know. Need to learn, I mean. So, and my skin needs it because we have frost here now. So, and that's why my face is struggling. A lot left on my hands, so one squirt from the pump bottle is more than enough. Let me just get the rest of the hands here before I do the sound test. Are you ready? Okay. Man, that was nice. I will tell you in the next day how my face felt after a couple of hours with this uh, rejuvenation of face serum that Fernando sent me to a very friendly price. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed, we are dedicated. Six Ono, out.